Hello, ungoogleable. Welcome to your life. Today is beautiful. Please log in. Kyokata Air Base, outside Tokyo, where he instructed top officials and military officers on how to defend their networks from Chinese hackers. Plot and but Snowden's disenchantment would only grow. It was bad enough when spies were getting bankers drunk to recruit them, now he was learning about targeted killings and mass surveillance, all piped into monitors at the NSA facilities around the world. Snowden would watch as military and CIA drones silently turn people into body parts. And he would also begin to appreciate the enormous scope of the NSA's surveillance capabilities and ability to map the movement of everyone in a city by monitoring their MAC address, a unique identifier emitted by every cell phone, computer, and other electronic device. Even as his faith in the mission of U.S. intelligence services continued to crumble, his upward climb as a trusted technical expert proceeded. In 2011 he returned to Maryland, where he spent about a year as Dell's lead technologist working with the CIA's account. I would sit down with the CIO of the CIA, the CTO of the CIA, the chiefs of all the technical branches, he says. They would tell me their hardest technology problems, and it was my job to come up with a way to fix them. But in March 2012, Snowden moved again for Dell, this time to a massive bunker in Hawaii, where he became the lead technologist for the information sharing office, focusing on technical issues. Inside the tunnel, a dank, chilly, 250,000 square foot pit that was once a torpedo storage facility, Snowden's concerns over the NSA's capabilities and lack of oversight grew with each passing day. Among the discoveries that most shocked him was learning that the agency was regularly passing raw private communications content as well as metadata to Israeli intelligence. Usually information like this would be minimized, a process where names and personally identifiable data are removed. But in this case, the NSA did virtually nothing to protect even the communications of people in the U.S. This included the emails and phone calls of millions of Arab and Palestinian Americans whose relatives in Israel occupied Palestine could become targets based on the communications. I think that's amazing, Snowden says. It's one of the biggest abuses we've seen. The operation was reported last year by The Guardian, which cited the Snowden documents as its source. He is living on New York time, the better to communicate with his stateside supporters and stay on top of the American news cycle. Often, that means hearing in almost real time the harsh assessments of his critics. Indeed, it's not only government apparatchiks that take issue with what Snowden did next moving from disaffected operative to whistleblowing dissident. Even in the technology industry, where he has many supporters, some accuse him of playing too fast and loose with dangerous information. Netscape founder and prominent venture capitalist Mark Andreessen has told CNBC, if you looked up in the encyclopedia trader, there is a picture of Edward Snowden. Bill Gates delivered a similarly cutting assessment in a Rolling Stone interview. I think he broke the law, so I certainly wouldn't characterize him as a hero, he said. You won't find much admiration for me. Snowden with General Michael Hayden at a gala in 2011. Hayden, former director of the NSA and CIA, defended U.S. surveillance policies in the wake of Snowden's revelations. Snowden adjusts his glasses, one of the nose pads is missing, making them slip occasionally. He seems lost in thought, looking back to the moment of decision, the point of no return. The time when, thumb drive in hand, aware of the enormous potential consequences, he secretly went to work. If the government will not represent our interests, he says, his face serious, his words slow, then the public will champion its own interests. And whistleblowing provides a traditional means to do so. The NSA had apparently never predicted that someone like Snowden might go rogue. In any case, Snowden says he had no problem accessing, downloading, and extracting all the confidential information he liked except for the very highest level of classified documents, details about virtually all of the NSA's surveillance programs were accessible to anyone, employee or contractor, private or gen-
were locked out. Today was a wonderful day. Please come back tomorrow. Red. Blue. Green. My check one two. Congratulations. You reject the good enough. You reject words like symbolism and postmodernism. Obsolescence is not part of your vocabulary. Every night, every day, every step of the way. The dictator of fashion. 